The episode is called Prehistoric Sonic this time, which I can't even make a joke about. It's the fourth and probably final part of our exciting saga where the writers remember that the Chaos Emeralds exist. And the continuity is a thing. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. We begin where the last episode left off. I think. Sorry, it's been like three weeks since I watched the last episode. Xenoblade is a drug with no cure. The plane is shot down with their mummified protagonist falling to the ground below. At least the time machine is still in one piece. A tank then comes to trample on them all with Robotnik desperately trying to get them out. He succeeds and tells the dim bots that he's going back to claim the Chaos Emerald of life. If you can bring anything to life. If this sounds like a stupidly powerful ability that he probably should have gone for first. Yeah, he really should have. He would have had an army of that alone. Also, Scratch brags about being turned into a chicken, and that idea will haunt my nightmares for weeks. Meanwhile, back in the present, Tails is catching some waves while Sonic is horny. I wrote that down before even watching it. I know it happens. Sonic is being the ball for a bunch of beach babe bunnies to play volleyball, which hits Tails out of the sky. Sonic is led back to the bunny game by his insatiable lust as Professor Kineinstein comes to explain the plot. He also has a surprisingly good spike. Good on him. The time surfboard is now a time skateboard! Still neat, but I'm not sure why you wouldn't just want the time-traveling shoes if given the option. They go off to stop our heroes, as said heroes arrive in the distant past several million years ago. Robotnik says the Chaos Emerald of Life first appeared when shot out of a volcano. So off he goes, while his minions get crushed by a dinosaur. Yeah, sure, why not? Sonic and Tails arrive and follow the dinosaur footprints, noticing a familiar pattern of the prints. Uh, the next sequence is Cartoon and Sandy, so I'm sorry if it makes no sense, but I'll try. Robotnik orders the robots to claim the Emerald, which they eagerly do so. Then they find some natives and upset them by existing. One of them tries to eat Scratch but finds him disgusting, so they attack the two robots instead. The dinosaur is nearby and Robotnik must have found his brain cell from the pirate episode because he turned the nearby T-Rex into a, a robot and has to terrorize the locals, as all robot dinosaurs should. Sonic arrives and hijacks the robot T-Rex for himself, now chasing down Robotnik and the robots until they reach a cliff. With no other way out, Robotnik throws the robots over the ledge and then jumps over himself. Okay, series over. Even Tails thinks so. But no, of course not. Our gallant hero is too perfect to die so shamelessly. They land on a nearby pterodactyl with Robotnik turning it into a robot as well. They fly away to the volcano and oh look, there's the Emerald of Life! Handy! Less handy though, the Emerald is stuck and uh, the, the volcano is sentient and demands a sacrifice for the Emerald. Obviously! We already know where this is going. Robotnik attempts to sacrifice the robots to the volcano, but Sonic and the natives arrive in time to save them. Unfortunately. But fortunately, Robotnik has time to sacrifice them anyway! Lucky us! And the Chaos Emerald is loosened so Robotnik claims it for himself. Robotnik uses the Emerald to bring the lava to life, which yes, it already was. This is confusing! Don't think too much! Our hero manages to catch Sonic and the others with these lava minions, and in a rare move of intelligence, ties up Tails, just in case. I'm so glad Robotnik found his lost brain cell again, I was really worried these last two episodes. Sadly though, Sonic escapes and freezes everyone else while he's at it. Okay now, there's no need to show off. Scratch and Grinder are somehow still around, climbing out of the volcano. Robotnik grabs them and escapes, with Sonic and Tails following behind. They deduce that he's going back to Moby Egypt to reclaim the other three emeralds. They'll go straight back to Robotnik Hotep's tomb with him waking up. Again, not that it matters, Robotnik nabs the emerald and dips before Sonic can do anything. I love our Callian hero. They go to King Arthur's castle for the next emerald, and with some light threats, they manage to get it pretty easily too. Sonic shows up, but Robotnik is invincible now, despite not being king. Yeah, remember that plot point? Oh, who am I kidding? They couldn't even remember that in the same episode. Two episodes said the line was a hopeless endeavor. Onto the Pirates' Island, where they dig up the final emerald. Sonic comes by to stop them, but Robotnik is smart again, so he removed the Chaos Emerald from the chest before they arrived, and he turns the chest into a robot. I love Robotnik when he's smart. Robotnik returns to the present as Sonic is trapped in the chest. Welcome back to Statue Watch. This is gonna be a short one, there's only one statue and it's the very same statue we've seen for a bunch of these low quality drawings. I, I used a few examples here, even literally episode one had one very similar to this. Back to the episode, there's nothing I can point out. Robotnik puts all four emeralds on himself and begins referring to himself as the Supreme High Robotnik. He is big now. Tails uh, convinces a female robot crab to seduce the chest crab to get Sonic out. And it works? Stop asking questions. They return to the present, only to see Supreme Hyrobonic destroying the neighborhood. Supreme Hyrobonic effortlessly catches them and uses their time travel skateboard to force them to travel to the beginning of the universe. Karma, as far as I'm concerned, spins them all the way to the Big Bang, which in this show is a giant stick of dynamite, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Of course, they get out. Lame! They travel back to the prehistory era to run into themselves to create another time paradox. Sonic is really good at those. I'm waiting! Gee, you better stay in the distant past, you miserable blue Tide Pod! I get an image from my nightmares, and then I get my new wallpaper. This show leaves me confused. This episode only has a minute left, so we already know the Supreme High Robotnik has no hope. They also forgot the Supreme High Robotnik is supposed to be invincible. Or maybe they finally remembered the king bit, but I'm not holding my breath. The episode ends with Supreme High Robotnik defeated and robbed of his gains as Sonic sends his Paradox clones to the past to return the Chaos Emeralds. What Sonic says is about electrical appliance safety, which is fine. Not really sure why he's warning Tails, though. I think he's more qualified than most technicians you could find. Eh, 
as for the episode itself, it's decent. Not as good as the pirate episode, but I think it's better than the other two in the saga. Robotnik not being an idiot was nice, you know, until he had to be so the episode could end. Supreme High Robotnik was a treat, but we barely get to see him, so it doesn't amount to much. And since this is part of a serialized saga, I'll go over that briefly too. It's still a bunch of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog episodes at the end of the day, so it was nothing amazing. But there are some decent episodes here. If you have to watch this show for whatever reason, you can do worse than Marathon this bunch. Except the moment be Egypt the one. But that's a safe skip. Robotnik's been a favorite of mine for a while now, and getting some episodes to feel every bit as about him and the robots of Sonic and Tails, if not more so, is really refreshing and something I would love to see more of in future episodes. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Bye bye